In today's video, we are going to cover the most common errors within saved searches. These include duplicate lines, lines without quantities or values, and totals appearing where they shouldn't. So to begin with, let's have a look at the saved search. I'm going to go to Report, Save Searches, and I'm going to create a new save search. Let's say I want to look at all the sales orders that need to be invoiced. So that save search type would be transaction. So I would scroll down to transactions. I'm going to click on this. And because a sales order is a transaction, uh, we must not forget that there are other transactions that are within this transaction range. So I just want to be looking at sales orders. So first of all, let's go ahead and name this sales orders pending uh, bidding, for example. Okay, uh, so I can give this an ID. can make it public or just keep it for myself. Now in the criteria section below, um, I can decide to set a criteria on the type. Why? Because the safe search is based on transactions, but I'm just curious about sales orders. Okay. Now it's not all the sales orders I'm worry about. I just want to look at those with the status being pending bidding, for example. So I'm going to scroll down to sales orders and I'm going to click on pending bidding. Maybe I want to include pending bidding partially fulfilled, but let's say for this scenario, I'm just going to choose pending bidding. Now we could add more criteria. For example, I could go for the sales rep and maybe I don't want to see the information of all my team. I just want to see whether the sales rep on that sales order is me, so it's mine. Maybe I'm a sales manager or director and I've got a team, so I want to be seeing the, the sales orders pending uh, invoicing, so pending billing or pending fulfillment uh, based on my whole team. Uh, or the ones that have not been assigned to anyone yet. So let's leave it for the, for the time being. I just wanted to show you, you could do this. So now the error that we see, uh, and that's causing the most problems on the results, meaning that you see multiple lines, uh, sometimes lines without values, is that there is something called main line on NetSuite. So the main line lets you determine what kind of value you want to see. Do you want to see the sum of the sales order or do you want to see line by line values? Like maybe if your sales order has a couple of items on it, do you want to see the details of the items? In that case, you would put main line no, because it's not the main section of the transaction. It's not the total. It's just a detailed uh, view. Of your um, of your sales orders, so in that case maybe I want to say yes. I want it to be mainline. I want just to see the total. Now, when you do this, of course, if you go to results, and I'm going to remove all the fields here, you will be able to see the date of the, the sales order because that's on the main section. You are going to be able to see the transaction uh, number. So the sales order number. If you want, you can uh, rename that field transaction number and maybe you want to call it uh, sales order reference, for example. Now, uh, you might also want to see uh, the name of the customer. And uh, in that case, on NetSuite, because it's a transaction, the field is called name. That's where the ID of the entity or the name of the entity is. So instead of name, we could call this customer. Maybe I want to know about the sales rep, who the sales rep is. And let's say I want to know about the total amount. 
Okay. So if I run this, uh, I should be able to see without any duplicates all this information. Okay, so that's that's the way to do it. If I want to put a total on the amount, so let's say at the very bottom of the page, I want a total of all the amounts, I can just click on show totals here. Right, so then I can just click on save and run. And I'm going to see the result of that save search right away. Now, there are a few things that you can do with that save search. If I scroll all the way down, I want to show you the, the total is here. Okay. So that's because I clicked on the total, show total on the fields uh, section of the save search. Now, if you want to regroup these informations by sales rep, for example, like here you see Mary appears here, there, uh, at the bottom, sometimes there's no sales rep. And let's say you want to regroup your information. So what I would do is I would click on edit this search. And on the results section, showing the fields, on the sales rep, you will see there's a column called summary type. I will select group and I will want to sum the amounts. Okay. Now uh, we can leave that, you know, these fields like this. We don't need to rename them. But if you did want to rename a summary um, field, a summarized field, you'd need to go in the summary label. So now let's save and run this. I will show you what it what it looks like. Okay, so here you've got all the information of the sales orders pending billing by sales rep. Now you might be telling me, okay, well, I don't like it the way it's showing. I'd like to sort these sales reps uh, alphabetically. So you can do this on NetSuite you, by clicking on edit the search. And then within the results section where the fields are showing, you will see there's a sort by on the top section of the page. Okay, and here you can decide to sort by, for example, sales rep. Okay, ascending or descending. Now let's click on save and run. So here we go. Now it's sorted out by sales rep name. Now you could also put a sort on sum of amount instead of the sales rep because maybe you want to see the biggest amounts first. You just need to edit the search and just update your sort criteria. Now the interesting thing is if you want to know the details of the sales orders that are within that sales rep's uh, authority, you just need to click on the sales rep name and NetSuite is going to open up the uh, the details uh, that's grouped within that sales rep. So here you see all the details for Chris. So you can find out about all the sales orders reference and who the customers were, uh, who the sales rep is, the amount. And if you want to go to the sales order, you just need to click on view here. I'm going to open in a new tab. And I'm going to be able to see the, the actual sales order. And now we've got access to the sales order. Okay, we see who the customer is. Okay, but of course we have more information here. Because sometimes you don't want to overload your safe search with so many columns that it becomes unreadable. You want to keep it clean. And then you click on the sales order to find out more details about it. Now, let's say you want to see this on your dashboard. You know, that's something people are not aware of. But if you click on available as dashboard view, or maybe if you want to use it on your reminders, you can click on this. And when you save and run this, you'll be able to find that CAWSO on your dashboard. So if you go to your dashboard 
and let's say that's is an information that's really important to you and you don't want to go on NetSuite and look for the safe search every time, of course, you could add it to your uh, shortcuts. But what you could also do is have the results showing on your dashboard itself. So the way to do this is you'll go to personalize and you'll click on custom search. And you have to make sure that the search is public if you want to, you know, if you want other people to be able to reach it. Right now, it's only available to me. So C-A-W, and I'm gonna see pending billing here. I can give it another name if I want to. Maybe I wanna see the first 10 results. Don't forget that it's sorted by sales rep. So it's gonna show me the, the first 10 sales reps. Uh, if I sorted it by amount, it would have shown me the first largest amounts. So I can click on save here. So I hope this helped. Don't forget to like and leave a subscribe uh, on the channel so that you'll be able to keep track of the next video.